Hi Church, it's Pastor Jake with this week's update. I want to share some encouragement with you from Romans 15, 13. Paul writes, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. As many of you know, uh, the governor issued a stay-at-home order that goes into effect tonight at midnight, March 27th, 2020. I don't have any kind of frame of reference for this. This is really, really unique. Um, you likely haven't ever experienced this either. And uh, some of you are maybe wondering how the governor's order will affect our church live stream this Sunday. And the governor used the following language about the importance of churches worshiping. He said that, that it was very important that churches continue to worship, that they stayed connected. And so I'm really encouraged that he sees the need for us to worship Jesus together. And he deemed ministry personnel, uh, pastors as being uh, important and, and uh, vital, essential is the word that he used. So we'll once again be streaming and interacting this Sunday at 10 a.m. on YouTube. We'll send out the link so you can get signed into that. I want to encourage you to interact, share prayer requests, uh, give um, feedback during the sermon. We're trying to do that over these weeks now. So um, if, if you have some uh, some questions about that, I think we're going to have a tutorial video uh, done by Jesse Hoagie on how to interact and post comments on YouTube in the coming day. So you can look at that. I want to just encourage you to interact. This Sunday, we're going to be continuing in our series of great truths about God, and we're going to look at God's goodness this Sunday. And in light of this stay-at-home order that goes from March 28th through April 10th, um, in light of that counsel, we want to encourage you to be mindful of that as you consider meeting together in cell groups. We want to encourage you, uh, out of respect and submission, to uh, what the, the governor has asked us to do, and I think what God is using the governor to ask us to do in care for our community. We want to encourage you to meet over Google Hangouts, over FaceTime, or via phone for the next two weeks. And I uh, want to uh, just encourage you to do that. I know it's not ideal. I know you'd love to sit down with a cup of coffee, just like I would. Uh, but uh, I want to encourage you to, to connect in that way over the next several weeks. And I want to celebrate, last night we had our FBC families connect via Google Meet for the first time. Three different groups, 7, 8 o'clock last night. Lots of different people got on those calls. If you didn't, uh, just hear me. We want to help you try to get on the call next week because we'll meet again next Thursday night to connect. Uh, we had a time of worship and prayer, a little bit of time in the Word together and encouraging one another. And uh, we're really looking forward to doing that again next Thursday. Your FBC family leaders are going to be sharing some vision for how we uniquely want to connect with one another over these coming weeks to be able to care for one another. And also how this is a unique time for us to, to pray for our community. I want to encourage you to pray. Um, I, I read a pastor the other day that, that posted at 1900 hours to pray each night at seven o'clock, 1900 hours for COVID-19 to be stopped, for it to be eliminated. I think that's a great idea even just to stop for a minute and pray at seven o'clock. Love to see this eliminated and to not have an impact on our area here. Um, and we are, we are wanting to, to, to pray earnestly for God to stop this. And at the same time, we know that God is working spiritually in this situation. And we want to be used by him to be found faithful, to care for those within our body, and to care for those uh, who are not yet a part of our church. And so we're going to be sharing some vision in the next several days uh, about how you can be a part of that in helping to be empowered to care for a couple people inside your FBC family and a couple people who are outside of our church family. I like to use the phrase, not yet. <laughs> not yet a part of God's family or our family. Now, this is a unique opportunity for us to pray for our community, for us to plead with God and for us to serve and care for our community. And uh, I'm so thankful to be a part of that uh, as one of your shepherds here. Uh, I, I love you and it's really good um, to be able to stay connected, even though we're isolated, um, to be able to be drawn out. The Spirit of God desires to use a lot of this technology to help draw us out so that we can stay connected in these ways. And I want to leave you with this. Julianne was getting ready for Easter Sunday and she was playing uh, one of my favorite Easter songs, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your voice and sing. Uh, she's going to play that on, on Easter Sunday. I want to leave you with this. God bless you. Looking forward to worshiping this Sunday.
Thank you.